I'm gonna walk you through a brand new painting company's website that we're about to launch. We're in like the final steps. And I will show you the difference between the old site that they have and the new one and kind of walk you through why they wanted to change it up and also why we changed things up to how they are here. So stay with me and I'll show you a comparison side by side pretty much of their old website and the new one and explain to you why the new one's gonna work that much better. So if you don't know who we are, Full Sail, we do marketing for contractors and construction companies and one of those industries is gonna be painting. Now, this is a client that we have out in San Diego, San Marcos, and <clears throat> he's a painter, painting and finishing. And he just said, look, I had this website, it's been old, it hasn't updated in a few years, I think it's about three or four years old, um, and I want it redone. So let me show you through the old, older style of website, and this is pretty common for contractors, is to have what is, I guess the, the theme was, this was back, this was built in 15, this was before I was building websites, all right? So this is before my time, <clears throat> excuse me. The, the theme of being narrow and having like a image background with something over top. So if you see the sides of a person in blue jeans and then a window on the other side, that's what used to be pretty common, okay? And nowadays what's common is widescreen, taking things all the way. So if you think about like a, um, a brochure, a mailer that you have, right? That you, you pass out your brochure to different people to show how great of a contractor you are and how beautiful of work you do. You've got on the cover a big picture across the whole cover, right? Versus having a small one that's kind of truncated. And that's the real difference between the two. One is just big and in your face and elegant and one's a little bit more truncated. So coming into the website, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that you come in and you have a big thumbtack for professionals, right? Which is fine. This is called a trust factor. And what a trust factor does is it just pretty much shows you, hey, look, you know, we're a Thumbtack professional, best of 2015. We have a little bit of credibility behind our name, which is awesome. The one issue is that if you actually click on it, the first thing it does is it takes you away to Thumbtack's website, which is kind of like what a lot of people do with their social media icons. They love to have them at the top. However, what that does is that promotes people coming to your website and the website's supposed to sell and then saying, hey, actually go check us out on Facebook. And once people are on Facebook, what happens? They're in the Facebook wormhole and they're gonna be looking at everything else but your company, all right? So you wanna keep them on the website no matter what. So by having them come in, boom, come to Thumbtack, it, it's gonna drive people right out and then what's on Thumbtack? A bunch of other painting professionals and now it's up to the client to decide are you gonna use Erwin or are you gonna use one of the other 20 people right there? So that's a big part of why we're updating the site, is little things like that. Come down with Erwin, you're covered. Aside from a great technical um, application, we're licensed, bonded, uh, licensed, bonded, and insured. So our work is covered, ensuring peace of mind while in your home or business. Another trusting, which is cool, I like that. Um, get a free estimate. Boom, come down and get a free estimate again. Boom, come down and get a free, which is fine. I mean, asking for the sale is good. However, this is like pretty repetitive where it's just, Estimate, 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 all right? You, you wanna space them out a little bit. I'll show you, we do a lot of asking for the sale. I'll show you how it's how we do it. Come down, you know, the you can book me, he said he doesn't really use it anymore, so um, wanna get rid of that. And then finally, it's, you know, a couple more trust factors. So all in all, not bad, right? What we have for his homepage now is nice big picture like what we talked about. And then a bit of, we go for the emotion, for the empathy side of things. A painter or painting companies as a whole, it's not the easiest thing to showcase all your work, to say, here's all the walls that we painted. Because it's, it's all different. You know, if it's a, a landscaping or, or remodeling or home builder or something like that, where you can show, hey, here's our design work, here's the artist side of things, that's a little bit more, hey, let's show you what we can do and show you kind of how we, what we're able to produce, because at the end of the day, if you don't like our kitchens, then there's no point to hire us. With painting, it's not necessarily as um, visual, I would say. Yeah, you don't want bad paint and stuff like that, but realistically, painting is one of those things, it's like marketing companies with like generating leads. If you can generate leads, it's not really like this whole sexy visual that we can show you. It's just, here's our numbers, 
what do you, you know, do you want to hire us or not? Stuff like that. In the marketing world, websites are the artistic side of things of does it look good, does it not look good, things like that. So with this website, we want nice, big, and, and, and wide, so we show a nice picture. He's in San Diego, home on the beach, right? Doesn't really show the painting too much, but what it does show is it shows lounge chairs and stuff like that, which will allow people to relax and feel good, right? So it's the emotional side of things. Fall in love with your home again, painting services so you can feel proud walking in the door. All right, it hits on what they do, and it also hits on how people should be feeling, okay? Which is ideally what we want. We want them to be happy with this, and we want them to then also take the action. Schedule your consultation. One thing you're gonna notice on this website is nothing is orange except for the buttons, okay? That is 100% by design because that should stand out more than everything else. There are these buttons, all right, come down, we have an estimation process. This is the other what you could do on the website. But outside of that, every call to action or everything that we say, hey, do this, this is gonna be a schedule of a consultation. Stop feeling frustration with your home's colors. Your home was meant to entertain friends and family. Don't let the old paint stop them, uh, stop them from inviting them over. Okay, typo, we're still working on this, right? We're doing this real. You deserve better, learn our estimation process, all right? It's an emotional side of things. Now what you're doing is you're thinking about entertaining friends and family and how it may be embarrassing or that may be stopping you, the paint may be stopping you from inviting them over because you just don't like the look of your home. But think about when somebody is gonna redo their, their paint or do something around the house, they want people to see it. People wanna show off their stuff, right? So when they get their home painted, what are they gonna do? Invite people over to come hang out. So that's what we're going for. We want to paint this picture in their head of this stuff. All right, we don't just care about painting, we care about you. Again, emotional side of things. So we're taking the painting out instead of focusing on how great of brush strokes we do or things like that. We're going right for the heartstrings, which is them. All right, a couple of trust factors, warranties, everything's gonna look good, efficiency so you're comfortable in your own home, consultation, good. A couple of popular painting services, that they can go right to what, whatever service they want. Love your home again, seriously. This is huge. This is like the feel good three step process. Step one, let's talk about what's going on. Step two, we'll actually create your vision. And step three, love or enjoy your home again. All right, so this is like a feel good, just look, we got you covered, all right? It doesn't necessarily show too much or go too crazy in depth, but it does make them like it, it shows them we have a process it's a three-step process let's talk about it we'll do it and you're gonna love everything so now this right here this is the biggest strategy of the entire website as we've got we know we may not be the best fit and here's where this comes in is the uh, i've worked with um i worked with a company it was actually before we i specialized in contracting the company was a furniture company and they had two sales reps and I talked about how um, and one of the we were doing like blogging for them and one of the blogs was about how they um, may not be the best fit for everyone and they said well that's not that's not fair we feel like we're the best fit for everyone and I said that makes no sense what if somebody wants Ikea furniture and they're like well we'll make that work so by knowing your audience and, and by showing what this is, is exclusivity we know we may not be the best fit, but we just want to help that it opens up and, and it lets people's guards down a little bit before, you know, they call you up. Because if you say, hey, we're the right fit for everyone, then they know immediately when they call you up, you're going to try to sell them something. And nobody likes to get sold to. People love to buy, but not get sold to. But we know we may not be the best fit. Let's just have a conversation. Now they feel like they, the client, the uh, contractor has their best interest in mind. And what accompanies that? a nice family moving into a home. This right here, stock image, right? But what we wanna do is make sure that we find a stock image or a free online image that is not that common, all right? So this just brings out the emotion, all right? I'm not a, stock images, if you can get not using, that's uh, you know obviously the best case situation, but as long as it's something that's not super common, then it's not a big deal at all. Um, schedule the consultation and then coming down at the bottom, because if you notice at the top, if I scroll up, you've got exterior, interior, and commercial, and then consultation, and that's all you got, right? 
at the bottom is those people that want to learn more about the estimation process or about you or things like that that's where they will um, they'll scroll to the bottom and find all that stuff you don't need to bog down the top section of your website because the people that just want to come in and learn a can they help me out with this service and b how do i get on the phone with them they're going to come right in they're going to either schedule the consultation or they're going to go okay interior you know let's do kitchen cabinet painting you're going to come right in check it all out okay cool consultation and they're done those that want to learn more about you and learn about your process learn about this and that those are the ones that even if you hide it all the way at the bottom they're gonna find it okay so keep the top nice and easy for those that want it nice and easy and put the other stuff at the bottom for those that want to search now that we're on this page let's just walk through it on the current page right now they have residential we'll go through that the residential page call us here's some of the things that we do and they just list out all these different things but instead of just listing things out we want to show the client a we can actually do it and b we, we know where you're coming from. When you say something like, um, you know, interior office painting, that's one thing. But if we, if, if we talk to you and we say, look, we know you want your office painting because you're about to start a new business. And when you start a new business, it should be exciting. And if you're doing videos like what we're doing here, you want the walls to look nice. You don't want the walls to look like crap. You want them to look nice because you're, you're, you know, what's behind you, that's part of your brand. And if everything is chipping down, then what's your brand gonna say about you? So let us help you, we'll paint the walls and we'll help you get your brand off on the right foot. Okay, see how much, how different that is, is instead of saying, boom, office painting, it's boom, let's go through all these steps. So we wanna speak directly to you and what's going on. So that's why we, you know, we don't wanna just list, list some things out. You know, he does have a cabinet painting from start to finish, Erwin Painting can make your cabinets look great. In fact, we're one of a few Painting companies who actually work on cabinets, we believe cabinets play a vital role in the aesthetic appearance of your kitchen. So that's what we talk about with cabinets. What we talk about with cabinets, come in. Your kitchen's first impression. As the room that sees the most people, your kitchen cabinets should be exactly how you want them. Fresh and unmarked cabinets can let the, uh, that shine in the light, no longer have the same cookie cutter cabinets as your neighbors, and have your cabinet better reflect your personality. So people who are, and when we talked to Travis, we said, why do people want new cabinets? And he said, well, generally when people wanna call me up for a new cabinet, painting and, and finishing, it's because they've had the track home cabinet look, which is just like the stained wood, and they want something that's more them. So that's what we focus on, is we focus on speaking to them, not speaking about, hey, your cabinet um, paint should look great, it's more what the cabinet brings to you, okay? Come down, these are the trust factors. These are the clients, the big time clients that people know that he's worked for. So when you're coming down and you go, oh wow, this, you work for Northrop and Marriott, I mean, I know those companies. So you want to show that, not in their face of like, check out our testimonials and our reviews and who we've worked for and all this stuff, but just people just pass by this, recognize a couple of logos and keep going. The next thing we wanna do is taking care of your cabinets in three easy steps. One, remove your cabinets and piece apart. Okay, two, refinish your cabinets if needed. And three, paint or stain the cabinets. Three easy steps, right? Do it nice, laid out. We don't go super in depth in anything. It's just very basic. Come down. Now we show some before and afters. Before and afters are everything, right? Because if you don't have before and afters, then how do people know that it's not all stock images or that you can actually do the work or the cabinets weren't already white and you just touched them up? Shows a bit of a difference, right? So. That's kind of why we want to throw stuff in there like that. Very basic, don't go in depth, let the pictures do the talking. Now remember on that homepage that we showed you the three basics of working with us? Talk about your vision, turn your vision into reality, love walking into your kitchen again. That's it, super straightforward. Our standards for your kitchen cabinet painting. Now here's what we're doing, is we're pretty much trying to say, okay, great. Now that you love your cabinets and you know you want to get your cabinets painted, which is A, selling the product, now B, we want to sell ourselves, sell the product, sell yourself. Most contractors sell themselves first. They, you come to a website and they say, boom, about us. Or, you know, tell me about your, your painting company. Well, we were started back in 1950, nobody cares about that, okay? 
sell the product, and then once they're bought into the cabinets, now it's your time to sell you. So they know A, I have to get my cabinets painting, and B, I can only get them from this contractor. So now we go into our experience, or our time together should be a top-notch experience. We'll show up on the day and time we agree on. We'll make sure that communication is there so there's no surprise charges along the way. The kitchen is a special place in the home, so don't worry, we won't leave any mess behind. You deserve the ideal experience when creating your ideal look for your home. Okay? Now the picture right there next to it to break it all up. Schedule the consultation. Last thing, testimonials, right? I mean, that is a good way to just show that you know what you're doing and people have already hired you for this stuff. So here, the best thing to do is if you can have a kitchen cabinet or a kitchen or whatever testimonial there so people can read them, then they're going to feel at home. They're going to go, oh, wow, okay. They, they've already, this is from somebody who's gotten their kitchen cabinets painted. All right, so um, this one, okay. Travis Street is like family, went above and beyond. I could not be happier with the work that was done. Painted co uh, condo and refinished kitchen cabinets. All right, so the cabinet stuff is there. So that is really how you want to break this, these websites down, is you want to go for the emotion, speak directly to people, and then ask for the sale. Don't be afraid to say, hey, schedule your consultation, because that's what people want. They, want. they want you to want their business, right? So that's what it really comes down to. The um, consultation page is really basic. Uh, this one is, okay, the map's not, okay, yeah. I mean, it's pretty similar, nothing. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, and the last thing that we'll do is we'll come in and we'll add a couple on the side, a couple um, testimonials. Also, just, you know, if somebody comes to this page and they're like teetering, like, eh, do I do it? Do I not do it? If we pop up with a couple testimonials on the side, just as a another trust factor, that'll help. And then having a little uh, map in the bottom. And uh, we're pretty much done. So that is how we make a painting website emotional. Instead of showing how great of painters we are, or um, you know, talk about the different brushes we use. We go right for the person and right for why they are hiring us in the first place. So I hope that helps. And I hope if you are struggling with uh, bringing out the emotion, you know, look this stuff up or give us a call. We'd, uh, we'd love to chat. Um, but yeah, speaking to people's real why is gonna get you way more clients than talking technical. Thanks.